Hey everybody, my name is Quicken and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the tattoos in the Netflix documentary series, Tiger King. So if you haven't heard of Tiger King, you're probably not social distancing. Tiger King is a documentary series that came out on Netflix, I think in the last two weeks. If you go on Netflix, it says number one on it, which is a nice cool feature. And apparently has raked in almost as many views as a Shane Dawson documentary series. The Tiger King series has blown up in pop culture and love the series or hate it or absolutely hate it. This series has leached into pop culture so much. I think Patrick Starr has a Tiger King makeup tutorial. Obviously this documentary is very popular and I gave it the old peek and I noticed that there's a lot of tattoos going on in this documentary. So today we're going to be talking about the tattoos of Tiger King, the documentary. Walked into a tattoo shop without a care at all. I said, darling, I'll be taking a tribal tiger from the wall. Alligators, porcupines, rattlesnakes, and bees. Every single tattoo is a story of my family. Bullet holes, eyeliner, and my late brother's hair. uncle kind of requested this video which has been cool but two what really drove me to making this video was this quote that I found from one of the directors she was asked about why Joe Finley is seen shirtless so much in the documentary and she said I think he was very proud of his tattoos that's a big part of that particular culture so I asked myself what is the culture is it zookeepers? Because other characters throughout this series are not tattooed. So I thought, what culture are we talking about here? People who live in trailers? So I thought I would explore this culture for myself and see exactly what we are talking about here and go through the characters and talk about their tattoos and what that culture might just be if it's not just like so going through this series and getting very familiar with the cast in order to make this video, there are a couple key players that are not visibly tattooed at all, striking off our theory that it is the zookeeper culture that gets them tattooed. We see villain Doc Antle, um, wow I really forgot her name, it's like the only thing people are saying. I love that Tiger King has an IMDB. So Carol Baskin has no visible tattoos to my knowledge. I looked up as many pictures of her as I could possibly figure out and it seems that she is just someone who dresses eccentrically and maybe has a lower back tattoo but I could not find any images of this. As well as villain Jeff Lowe. If you're not familiar with the series, Jeff Lowe comes in and is listed only as businessman and I guess pumps money back into the zoo but takes ownership of it in the process. Jeff Lowe does not have any tattoos, but he is someone who reminds me of somebody who would own a tattoo shop, you know what I mean? Who would own it, can't tattoo, doesn't have tattoos, but they own the tattoo shop, businessman. So Jeff Lowe, no tattoos, couple tattoo shops maybe in Mississippi. And then Joshua Dial, if you watch this series, you probably related to Joshua the most because he seemed the most level-headed in this entire documentary. Personally, when Josh was thrown into the scene, I was like, that's my boy. And then there's some characters that I never get a good chance to see their tattoos, like Saf appears to be tattooed, and the guy, the like, hitman guy, I don't want to mention him. I don't want to find him. So first we're going to go into my favorite tattooed boy of the series and it is John Ranke. So you could say that John has no tattoos, but he kind of has that feel. So I want to talk about him a little bit and kind of explore his character, mostly because I wish he was my dad. So John Ranke gets into this terrible accident which leaves him without his legs. 
The zoo is kind of this place that attracts a lot of people in different walks of their life. So when you're introduced to his character, you're like, yeah, the guy without legs, I mean, what else are you gonna throw at me? But he's actually very sweet. When I looked into his story, he was actually visiting the zoo a lot, and because of his frequent visits to the zoo to like pet bears and experience these animals up close in person, Joe Exotic actually asks him to become a part of the zoo. So John has these ill prosthetic legs that are, I would say, painted in a tattoo style. He has like a scary clown and a tiger, and every single person I will describe has a tiger tattoo. Is that the culture? With this, later when he leaves the zoo, he gets into race cars and he keeps this like psychedelic clown motif going on. So I think he's just the guy who never really got tattoos and then had the opportunity to have custom painted prosthetics and was like, give me tattoo sleeve prosthetics. So in the series, Joe Exotic has two husbands, which through some research, I found out that it was not a legal marriage. I don't know if that's true. Most of the research out there is like very horrible websites that have like 90 pop-ups when you click on them and it's completely like mind-numbing to pull any research from them. <laughs> but in that alleged husband, not real husband, but Joe's second husband in the documentary. Lightly, I will talk about him because I do feel like his story is pretty tragic, no spoilers. He has two tattoos, one giant tattoo of a tiger and one tribal sleeve. Tribal is a huge thing on this zoo. You see him really early on without any tattoos and then eventually he gets very similar tattoos to Joe Finley, who I'd love to talk about. So Joe Finley has the illest set of tattoos on the whole show and he is our culture-inspired diva who comes in hot with the character of the show where you're like, okay, do I hate you? And that's the whole, sh that's the whole series. If you love feeling that way, that's the whole series. So you tend to empathize with any of the characters who are just not horrible, and Joe might be one of them. Joe talks about driving tigers over state lines to legally sell them as just cubs and stuff like that, and you're like, damn, that's awful. But I did also see an interview with Joe where he talks about fulfilling a lot of people's dying wish of petting a tiger or like chilling with a wolf. And he said that fulfilling these dying wishes didn't make it to the Netflix documentary, but he thought it was really important because it was a big part of his like overarching development into the man he is today. But let's talk about Joe's tattoos. So Joe has one of the illest set of tattoos in the show and it starts off really with this Burt Grimm tiger tattoo. Burt Grimm is a legend in traditional tattooing, which is the tattoos I primarily wear. So immediately when I saw the first interview with Joe in his confessional, I noticed right away that he had this Burt Grimm flash tattoo. So sick. I'm like, does this guy know his stuff? But I don't know who's tattooing the people on this zoo. I don't know if they know somebody. I don't know the proximity of the zoo to the nearest city. I'm confused. But I would say these tattoos are done well enough. With some exceptions, but they're all really dark and bold, and I assume that in the beating sun, everybody is like topless with no sunscreen, so the tattoos are still there. So John Finley- John Finley? I can't believe I finally got the man's name right. So John Finley has a bunch of tattoos for Joe Exotic. So Joe Exotic himself does wear some tattoos of his partners, but Joe has four Joe Exotic tattoos. He has one on his chest, he has a rope around his arm that says, For My Husband, he has that tattoo that you see at the finale of the series that he's getting covered up, and he has one more because in my notes I said four. So all of John Finley's tattoos, for the most part, except for a really sick tap out tattoo, are animal related. He has a panther, what looks to be a gorilla, an alligator, a few tigers, and then eventually the series closes with him getting a bull tattoo. He also has a full back tattoo and maybe some tattoos on his legs. And in the final parts of the series, you see him with a woman at a tattoo parlor getting his cover up and he is not flinching at all. Personally, when I saw the cover up, I thought, this is bad. This is a bad tattoo. 
So hopefully it's unfinished because the cover-up tattoo doesn't really cover up anything, although John himself seems pretty relieved. So really, with your cover-ups, as long as you feel better, I think that that's okay. I really can't make out this tattoo across his chest, but it has a little butterfly in the middle, which I like to think was his very first tattoo, which shows a little softness that I'm interested in. My first tattoo, a little butterfly. Let's move on to Joe Exotic. He is the tattooed star of the series and the most chaotic gay zookeeper I have ever heard of. So Joe Exotic is this character who started years and years ago being influenced by a neighbor who was allowing him to interact with his big cats. I feel like I just meet people who love animals to this Joe Exotic degree. They usually wear the like big animal shirts, you know what I mean? And they like in theory love animals but maybe don't know what's best for them. I feel like that describes Joe Exotic, but Joe Exotic for the most part only has animal tattoos. Way more animal tattoos than me. And not only that, but Joe Exotic's look is very exotic. I would say Joe Exotic in the series is much more clothed than John Finley. However, when you do get a glimpse of his tattoos, you're like, hold on. So Joe Exotic has a portrait on his arm, which is supposed to be of his brother. And it was his brother's dream to also start this zoo. Wait, 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 wait. So actually I'm mistaken. Now that I am much more familiar with the cast, Joe Exotic has a tattoo on his neck that says Dylan. Dylan is actually his newest husband. Continuing on, Joe Exotic has a peacock tattoo, he has a tiger tattoo across his chest, and these interesting bullet holes. In the documentary, they talk about how Joe Exotic was buying bullets literally every day from Walmart. I don't know what they represent. A bullet hole sticker on a car? Funny. This? I'm just not sure what it's all about. Joe also has a ton of tribal tattoos. And although they may have deeper meaning, I'm going to assume that he's getting tribal tattoos for the sake of being tattooed. Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> so because of this, I think that he just wants them to take up space and represent some sort of decorative element to his tattoo habits. And from what I can see, he has a lot. I'm sorry for using the same four pictures of Joe Exotic over and over again. Just some of the pictures of him online he has self-copyrighted and I'm scared to touch those. He also has these big black tattoos that I thought were maybe bones, but I'm really, really not sure. I don't know what these are. From far away, they kind of add some sort of interest, visual interest to the man. You know, from a couple yards away, you're like, what is that? Kind of cool. But are they bones? Boomerang? In comparison to John Finley, Joe Exotic does not have as many tattoos, but my professional analysis is that he does get more sentimental tattoos, though I am curious about his Dylan Forever tattoo on his neck. Maybe he knew his time as a free man was coming to a close and quickly got this tattoo for the husband he was leaving behind as he went to jail. Overall, the tattoos in this documentary series excited me and I was happy to see them. Although every person in this documentary series is a scoundrel, it was cool to feel a little ounce of representation, apparently, in the tattoo culture that is ingrained in this wildlife documentary? No. I'm so cold. Why do people get tap out tattoos? Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in, especially if you hate Tiger King. Thank you for coming in here and listening to another 10 seconds of it. I'm sure you are completely maxed at your limit, but I thought we would explore this tattoo culture that is so important that the directors asked John Finley to shoot his confessional without a shirt. Thank you guys, if it's your first time here, definitely subscribe and hit the bell notification as I am posting more often now that we are all inside together.
Anyway, if you're on your computer, make sure you give this video a like and leave your comment down below. Until next time, bye. Alligators, porcupines, rattlesnakes, and bees. Every single tattoo is a story.